I'm going to show you how you can add new single or multi-select options in Airtable Forms. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com and I will add you all to this in the description. So by default, Airtable Forms do not allow you to add new options for either single or multi-select. So this extension is, is uh, solving that problem. So let's go through the live demo here. You would start um, so when you give the URL to the form to your users, what you would give them is this page, like a page that looks like this. And then what they would do is they would start with that single or multi-select field, and then they would fill that up and then hit next and get redirected to the form with that option pre-filled. So um, in this case, it's currently on the single select configuration. That's why I can only select one. Uh, but if you, if you choose multi-select, you can choose multiple. So uh, I can choose one of the existing ones and hit next, and then have the Airtable form pre-fill that option for me, or I can try to add a new one. So and let's do let's do a uh, a new one. Let's do past do, and then hit add here. So it'll create that option, created it, added it here, hit next, and um, your form is correctly pre-filled. So I'm going to show you how you can set this up now. Um, so you would start by filling up your user API key, base ID, and table ID. Follow the blue URLs to find those. Then I'll put these side by side here. Next, we would fill up the um, form URL. So go to your table, grab your form URL. In my case, it's going to be this URL right here. So I grab that, put it in here. Next, we have the single and uh, multi-select field name. So just grab that name, make sure it's case sensitive, drop it in this field right here. And it can be either multiple select as of the type here, or it can be single select. And a couple of things I want to mention here to explain to you how this extension works so that you don't uh, face any surprises. So what, it, what this extension does is when I open up this, um, when I open up this URL, what happens is the extension fetches the first 500 records in your table. And then Airtable doesn't tell us what options are here in this list. So they don't tell us the exact possible options for status. But what they do tell us is all the existing options that are on, um, on the existing fi first 500 records. So what we do is we fetch these 500 records. We you know combine all the statuses and then we resolve all duplicates so that you would only see one of each. And that does mean that if I, if I created a new option here, so let's say I created, I don't know, just LLL, hit save, this option will not show up on the extension until I actually add a record that has that value. So I refresh this extension, and what I'll see is that that value just doesn't show up on the list whatsoever, right? So the value doesn't show up on the list whatsoever. Um, and if I added a new record here that would contain that value, then it would show up. Sorry, actually, I was trying to refresh this page. OK, so this should reload. OK, and now we see it. So this is pretty much how this works. Let me do one last thing here and show you how you can do multiple select, not just single select. So we have a little option here that allows multiple selections. And we would want to enable this, hit save. And then we'd want to make sure that our type here is a multiple select type. So let's go ahead and go through this again just to see what it looks like with a multiple select option. Let's load up here. OK, so let's try to select a value here. Let's do done, and then let's do in progress. And then I can always remove each of these values if I would like. Then hit next, and what happens is these values will get pre-filled in the form, both of them. So this is pretty much it.